Welcome back, my beautiful collective. Welcome to your reading. We're going to take a look at what your person has to say. Messages that need to come out that you're not aware of. What are their hidden feelings? You know what they're not saying. If there's no contact, you know where where the situation is going. Okay, so let's take a look at messages from your person. And um, by the way, this is for all signs. So take it how it resonates. You can flip the message if you like. Um, but yeah, take it how it resonates. If it fits, if it resonates, but don't force it. Okay. If it doesn't resonate with you, you want to, you may want to take a look at a different reading. Okay. And uh, you can also take a look at my playlist. I have a collective playlist that has the readings in there. Okay. We have you speak to me through music. Okay, so I feel like you and this person, I feel like they're, they're thinking about you a lot, but they're thinking about you through music. Maybe you have a certain song that reminds them of you. You know, I feel like they may play this a lot is what I'm getting. They're thinking about you. It could be that there hasn't been any contact, so they're kind of replaying stuff in their mind I'm getting right okay we have I don't react when people mention you okay so this person is trying to keep things on the down low they're trying to keep their feelings bottled up they're not trying to let anyone know how they're feeling at the moment so I feel like if you have people that you both know you know friends that you both associate with I feel like they're kind of not trying to show how much they miss you. They're trying to be a little stubborn here, right? Okay, we have I want you. Yeah, they, they can't hide too much longer because they, they want to be with you. They want to feel you around them, you know? I wish I had treated you better. So there may have been some kind of conflict, some kind of situation that has torn you apart or that has made you, you know, create this distance with each other. But they feel like you deserve better. You know, I left you before you could leave me. Yeah, so I feel like this person is very heartbroken. You know, they may feel like the way they treated you was wrong, but they kind of stepped away before you could leave them. You know, they wanted to hurry up and try to save themselves from this heartbreak. But the, the thing is, though, this person still wants you. This person still wants to be with you. You know, they just feel like they don't fit up to your standard or they're not good enough. Maybe they don't treat you the way they view that you deserve to be treated. You know, they know they have treated you badly. You know, they know that they could have said some things that may have broke your heart. That's the reason why they left before you could leave. Because they feel like they really hurt you deeply. Right? They feel like, you know, no one deserves to be treated that way. That's the reason why they feel the way they do. But they know that you're a good person. That's why they still want you. I want to feel that way again. Yeah, they're missing you. I feel like this person is missing you very deeply. Right? That they're missing your interactions, the way you speak to them, the way you carry yourself. I can't stop thinking about you. See? You're just constantly on their mind. They, they've tried to run away from you, is what I'm getting. They've tried very hard to forget about you, but they're not able to. You have left an imprint on their heart. You know? 
you have left that on them. It was my fault, but I blamed you. You know, I, I feel like, you know, this person may have had a hard time taking responsibility for their own actions. So what they did was they made your flaws stand out so their flaws wouldn't show. You know, I feel like whatever they reflected upon you, my beautiful collective, whatever they reflected on you is the flaws that they know are within themselves. So anything that they were doing, you know, they may have been blaming you or may have been judging you, but in all realization, in all actuality, this person was judging themselves, you know? They were, they were discouraging themselves because they know that you're a good person. They know that you make them better, right? That's the reason why they feel like you deserve so much more. You deserve so much better than what they can offer you, but they still want you. You know, I wish things could be different, you know, and I, I feel like this person may want to change their ways. You know, they may want to change the way they see life in general, you know, but I, I feel like this person is afraid to contact you. They're, they're afraid of what you might say if you are going to judge them, okay? If you're just not going to reply, if you're not. I feel like this person is afraid. They're afraid that you won't accept their call, that you'll just refuse them, that you'll block them. I'm afraid to contact you. You know, that they're afraid to put their emotions on the line. They're afraid to, you know, have this. The feeling of being denied, you know? But I feel like this person knows that you're someone very special. You know, that's the reason why they still want you. That's the reason why they still think about you, how they feel the way they do about you. You know? Um... Yeah, you came closer than anyone, you know. This person may have a lot of trouble with past relationships, with expressing themselves, with, you know, moving past the negative energy, okay. Um... I feel like this person may may be dealing with a lot of emotional issues. It, it seems like this person is fighting demons, right? Maybe they're fighting their own demons. Maybe they're they just need to get away. You don't know how hard it was to let you go, right? I feel like this person needs you. They need your goodness around them. You know, and I feel like they, they feel like they're going in withdrawal by not being around you. Yeah, being near you is intoxicating. Yeah, this person is going through withdrawal without you. Right? They feel very withdrawn. Very alone. I'm, I'm getting a lot of energy of feeling very alone. You know, I'm also getting that there may have been some sort of codependency, some kind of issue, could be addiction. Yeah, you and I were too young. So maybe, maybe they think that, you know, their 
at the age where they're not really accepting that they could have found their soulmate. Okay? Finding out the truth crushed me. Hmm. I'm getting that this person heard something from someone else that maybe there was some kind of gossip or someone was in their ear. You know, someone was in their ear telling them certain things. And it may have been things that weren't even true, things that weren't even honest. Um, but I, and I, I get the feeling that some of their pain is because someone else has instilled that energy within them, you know, and it caused so many insecurities, you know, so many things remind me of you, you know, this person can't get over losing you, even though I feel like they're the reason why they lost you. It was their actions, their... Uh, their defensive nature is the reason why they lost you. But they can't get past it. I bear myself in work to forget about you. Right? Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. Right? They, and I, I feel like they know it's all their fault. They know they effed up. They, they know. They know it. They know it. There's no way around it. They just can't get past the idea. Okay, let's go ahead and get into the tarot. Tell me about this person. Tell me more about this person's spirit. Where is this connection going? Where is the connection going? Oh. The King of Pentacles. And the Six of Swords. Okay. My beautiful collective. I feel like you're moving on. Because you're pursuing more stability. You understand that this person isn't very stable. And it may be due to some kind of age issue. Um, they may be more stable in the future. But I feel like you're moving towards more stability. You're, that's what you're looking for. You're looking some, for something that can offer you something more solid. Okay? Um, someone who's loyal. Someone who's very grounded. Okay? You may be moving towards an earth sign. This could be um, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Okay? We have the Six of Swords. This could also be uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay. What else do we have, Spirit? Where is this connection going? But I, I'm, I'm really getting that you're moving forward with or without this person. You know, you, you understand that this person has some issues. They may have some unresolved emotions and you're just like over it. You know, you're moving forward looking for your stability. Okay, you're looking to find your balance. Okay, the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, I'm not sure if you're willing to work things out with this person. I'm not sure if you're willing to... Um, go the extra route again. You know, you feel like you gave it your all. Like you put a lot of energy into this, into this situation. And now, my lovely collective, you feel like, you know, there's no, no motivation here. Like, you just don't have the energy to pursue this relationship. You know, you feel like it's too much that you can handle. You're just ready to move into your stability. You're ready to move forward. Okay. So. 
Give me a message for this person. Where is this person? Where is the collective's person? Tell me how they feel about this connection. Tell me how they feel about this connection. Oh, the Seven of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles, excuse me. The Page of Wands and the Star. Okay. This person wants to give you what you need. This is reciprocity, right? They want to give you something, but they feel like they feel like they're not in a place to offer that just now. But they're feel that they they feel like they want to keep you in their life. They want to speak to you. They want to deliver you this message. They want to talk to you. You know, they may be waiting for some sort of communication from you, right? But I feel like this person is very discouraged. You know, they could also be very insecure. This person is very insecure, you know? They, they feel like nothing's going to go their way. Like it just can't work out in their favor. Although they have good intentions, they want to give you what you need, what you want, you know. But I feel like they, they just have these insecurities that are holding them back from that. They're like not able to move forward. But they definitely, you may receive a surprise um, message from this person, okay. And I feel like... This person really wants to communicate. You may actually even see this person. Okay. You may see this person in the physical. They may show up at your door. Unexpected. Without a call. Okay. They just may show up. But there, there is a chance for something to grow in the situation. There is a chance for something to blossom. Okay. And I feel like this person does care very deeply. Right. They see themselves long term. But they just don't know where to start to make this grow. You know, they, they don't know what energy is to put into this to you know make you feel whole okay but i do feel like this person is willing to put in the hard work okay they're willing to move forward and definitely communicate This is some sort of good news coming through that's moving forward. This is energy that's moving forward. Okay. So I feel, I definitely feel like you're going to get some kind of communication from this person. You're going to get some kind of interaction. Um, and I wouldn't be surprised if this person didn't show up at your doorstep. Very unexpected. Wanting to talk, you know, wanting to have a conversation. Yeah, there's going to be some sort of resolution before the holidays. There's going to be some sort of resolution for you. Okay, so let's go ahead and get some messages from your angels. Let's get some messages from your angels, please. Okay, we have divine order. Archangel Raguel, everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and see the underlying order. Okay? So things are going to happen in its own divine timing. You know, but this is the way it's meant to be at this moment. 
they're meant to miss you. They're meant to see their, their flaws so that they don't inflict that onto you all the time. When they know that they were the ones in the wrong, you know, it's not fair to question, to apply that guilt upon you when they know that it was them that, you know, started this. Okay, we have Claire Sentence. Yeah, I know I didn't say that correctly, but bear with me. Is Archangel Raquel. Notice your reoccurring physical and emotional feelings as they signify deep divine guidance. Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and get your angel number. My beautiful collective. Okay, your angel number is. Okay, 1919 transformation. So your relationships, you know, may be going through a transformation. You yourself could be going through this beautiful transformation. You know, we're all evolving. We're all changing. So, you know, 1919 transformation. It's asked that you take notice that you hold within your hands the power to change your life. Within this realization, you will feel your sense of purpose and your connection to new beginnings. Your affirmation, I release what no longer, what I no longer need to carry and I open myself to transformative energy of the divine. Okay, so you or this person could be going through some kind of transformation at the moment. You know, so take heed to your affirmation. I release what I no longer need to carry and I open myself to the transformative energy of the divine. Okay, so this is your reading, my lovely collective. So if you'll smash the like button, smash the su subscribe button if you haven't already. And if this reading resonates, comment below if you like. And my beautiful collective, until your next reading, many blessings, love, and beautiful light.